Hello everybody, welcome back and today we'll be creating a rig for a character like this. A very simple rig that you can actually use. We'll jump right in but remember to like, subscribe and well, let's go. Alright, so say we have our object here. No rig into this. No rig at all so what we are going to do is we'll start from here so come down here to set up and here i will select make sure and usually i like doing this in a different layer so that in case i make problems i actually can select the skeletons without selecting the actual object itself so i'll get the skeleton here and i'll start from here so I'll just drag it to let's say maybe here all right and I'll just drop it down a bit like this let's bring it here and I'll bring it to the side I want it to be straight going down so I'll bring it here So here I'll just drop one, like a small bone like this, and I'll bring one here. So if you're observing from this side, what should happen is your whole skeleton, say you see the way this thing is, I think I pushed it way too, too much in front, so I'll move it back, hold down control to move it back, and you can actually get the drag to zoom in in case you make a mistake and then move a point so i can actually move this one like this and you can actually position it to how you want so i want to continue and let me just pull this one in front so i'll put it here i'll put it here and i want to continue so what i'll do is while in polygon mode, I'll select this bone here and select skeleton here and then continue pulling down. So I'll bring it down here and you need to check your sides as well to see exactly how your bones are fitting. So here what I'm going to do is create another bone that comes down like this and then I'll drag two more one here and the other one here all right so now you can actually just select them and reposition them in the way that you want so like for example with these I can just select these ones at the bottom let's move them a bit same thing here let's just move these in a bit so on the top view uh, let's deselect this one and I'll rotate these ones let's make sure you're on mouse so I'll rotate these like this all right select so we have that I'll come back here and selecting while selecting this bone come back to skeleton I'll make another one here create another one here okay, I think it's bending too much let's just bring it down like this let's make another one here another here okay so you can be checking this side how it's moving so here so before the neck I'll create a small bone here then create the neck bone to here then I'll create the head bone 
like this then from this one i'll create one more that comes to the eye here so this side i'll move this to here all right so make sure it's on the center of the eye and this side it's on the center and i'll drag one out like that all right we are done with that and let's come down here so i'll select this bone here and select skeleton drag so this is our shoulder make a small bone here okay so i think i should move these ones down let me move this one here let me drag this one down a bit like this and so you assume we are going to assume our our elbow is somewhere here so make sure on the top view you actually bend this going back then we'll bring it here so make sure you bring it in front like this We'll make two bones here that follow down and from here what i'm going to do is i'll start creating for the so this was the wrist and let's go for the thumb so I'll bring it here then i'll create two joints here and Let's bring it here and also bring it here. All right. I'll push space on the keyboard. Select this bone here. Oops. So I'll select this bone. Go back to Skeleton. Then let's create for this the index finger. So I'll just drag this here. And oh my goodness, now where where is this thing going to now? All right. So I'm having trouble just dragging it to one point. So what I'll do is I'll come here. And I'll move it to a specific point that I want. I'll use the perspective. And I'll create three joints here. So one, two, and three. So you just make sure they are still in the finger. Push space. I'll come back here to the top. Select again. Select this. This bone. And let's drop it here. okay make three joints as well one oops this thing just moved all right two so let me just move this and this one comes here and the last one goes the back like that space make sure you save don't forget select this bone again do the same thing, do the same thing. Alright, so sometimes you have a hard time like this just to find your your bone not moving in the right direction. So on the back view you just bring it here and position it and then start pulling your bones out. So three bones push space and save for the last time here for the pinky finger we'll actually just do the same thing let's drag it at the far end and one here then the last one here all right 
space on the keyboard so you can actually check here if they're really inside and they are that looks good so we've created a rig on one side of the body what we want to do is uh, select make it on the other side as well so i'll push while my mouse is on the back view push shift v on the keyboard and for numeric and i already have that so make sure your values here are zero 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 on the x axis and cancel this push space on the keyboard so if you check you actually see that you've got a rig on both sides so save so for you to try it out okay let me just adjust this i think i over moved this using the drag tool just drag it in yeah much better so if you want to test it out you actually cut this control x on the keyboard and put it in the body which is in the layer one control v to paste s for save and at this point we can actually send our object to layout so once you're in layout like this you come to setup and bones here instead of bones instead of bones you come to convert skeleton into bones all right okay now i have a feeling we actually have double bones here yes so that's the reason why it's red so we can actually go back let's close this down all right so i'll just say undo 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 till it's back here undo undo all right so instead of just uh, mirroring everything, what you do is you select the bones that are actually select while well, in polygon mode, select these bones. Um, all the bones that are not on the on the center. Select all these. As long as the bone is not on the center, just select it. Then now push shift v on the keyboard and for numeric space and at this point i can actually let's just test it out before we start making any adjustments uh, control x on the keyboard control v to paste save let's send it again to layout do the same thing set up and then add convert skeletons into bones and now they are all blue so which is a good sign so if you want to see these things in action just double click make sure in bones double click on a bone y for rotate and voila it's actually working so in my next video i'll actually show you how to create weight maps because weight maps are what will actually help you if you can see when i drag a bone everything even the hoodie this side just moves in an order that okay i'll just put a light here so that i can see everything everything just moves and we don't want some parts to move together with the hand so we just want the hand to move and everything so in the next video we'll be creating weight maps and I hope you won't miss the video but otherwise our rig is okay uh, so as you can see as long as there are no weight maps the bone doesn't know which part it is meant to move so like here if i select the eye the eye bone if i actually move this you notice the whole face actually moves which is not good so thank you for watching i appreciate your support and please like subscribe and catch me in my next video which i'll post tomorrow on how to add weight maps to your character
and yeah bye bye